Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you. We really appreciate you. And we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. Wow. The one we have today is quite interesting. Um, it's regarding uh, the ongoing um, U.S. election um, dispute right now. And uh, Nigeria's uh, uh, former president, good luck, Jonathan, his uh, um, comment and statement and um, his disposition regarding all that is going on right now. As a result of um, his uh, um, statement, <laughs> he has bagged a new title. Nigerians have given him a new title. As a result of um, his uh, comments, statements, and all that he's been saying regarding the U.S. Um, election dispute. Let's not forget that uh, Good Luck Jonathan was in the same shoes with um, Trump right now. Um, Good Luck Jonathan was the Cuban president at the time President Mohamed Buhari contested and Good Luck Jonathan lost. The same thing with Trump. Trump um, was the incumbent um, or is the incumbent president at the moment and he lost out to Biden. But um, he's finding it hard to concede defeat and just accept his fate. We know the case of Jonathan, how it went through. Um, that's one thing, that action he took at that time. Some persons are still criticizing him for that, that he shouldn't have done that. You know, as soon as the All Progressive Congress won, good luck, Jonathan took the phone, put a call straight to President Mohamed Buhari to congratulate him. What a gentleman he is. You know, that was his own experience. And ever since then, he's been working closely with uh, President Mohamed Buhari. Maybe from his experience that time, um, he has been putting all of the comments and all of the words he's been putting out there to um, Trump and Biden as well. As a result of that, Nigerians have crowned him. Nigerians have given him um, a title. It's so interesting um, to note. We'll carry on shortly, but before we do, my beautiful people, please, guys, don't forget to like share and to subscribe thank you once again nigerians are currently hailing former president of nigeria professor good luck ebele jonathan as the true hero and icon of democracy good luck has been trending in nigeria since yesterday for practicing true democracy in 2015 america was on fire yesterday following attacks from trump supporters who stormed capitol hill Washington, D.C. According to pro-Trump supporters, they believe the 2020 U.S. presidential election was rigged by the Democrats. According to reports, U.S. Congress has announced Joe Biden as the winner of the 2020 presidential election by 244 votes to 157 votes of Donald Trump's. From November till date, Trump has refused to accept that Joe Biden truly won the election his Vice President Mike Pence has accepted the result of the presidential election. Following Trump's refusal to accept defeat, Nigerians began to drag him as they tell him to learn from ex-president Goodluck Ebele Jonathan. Dr. Fumilayo tweeted, I never knew the day will come that I say this, but I say it regardless. Goodluck Jonathan should be commended for leaving power peacefully. We can criticize him for other things, but seeing all this mess in America, we should commend good luck, Ebele Jonathan. He's a good man. God bless him. Wow. Someone else um, wrote that Danny Waters tweeted, like this, we can't even use U.S. as, as an example of a fair election again. A non-violent hand over ended with good luck, Jonathan. So a lot of uh, um, comments have been um coming in um, regarding this um, U.S. election. And uh, we know that um, initially, good luck, Jonathan, passed out uh, um, some warm messages across to the United States. And maybe he's asking them to, to learn from um, his own uh, experience. He was um, in Cuban president as well. It's not easy. But if that is the case, if the people have voted, then let it be what it should be. But we know Donald Trump doesn't want to give in. 
All the while, Donald Trump has been arguing that the election was rigged, the election was rigged. But it's quite clear that um, the people of um, the United States, they've chosen Biden. Maybe for certain reasons, for different reasons. Right now, jo good luck, Jonathan, is being hailed because... When uh, um, he lost out to uh, President Mohamed Buhari, there was no crisis. And I mean, if he, he wants crisis, he will be the one to promote it. But I'm sure he told everyone to be calm, all his supporters, that even his statement, his action of picking up the phone and calling President Mohamed Buhari, anyone that was even planning any sort of protest, I mean, it would be senseless. The person who contested and lost out have, have actually considered defeat that you want to be protesting. Just imagine if... Uh, um, Trump had done what um, Good Luck Ebele Jonathan did. If you are taking up the call, the phone, we know, but he wouldn't do that. He's such a puffed man. If he takes up the phone and calls Biden to congratulate him, those um, supporters of his, once they've learned that um, he's accepted and defeat, they would not um, do any of such. So they are, Jonathan is being healed. But let's not forget that initially this was what he was criticized for. Some persons even called him different names that I don't want to mention here. That how can you just accept defeat like that? How can you just accept? Why not go to court and uh, um, ch uh, uh, um, debate this and contest um, the, the outcome, INEX outcome? And all of that. Someone else says here yeah, that um, in 2015, Jonathan conceded and he put the peace, safety and security of Nigerian people first. Good luck, Jonathan has the right to say this. No one's ambition is worth the blood of any citizen. I hope General Buhari can do the same and Pastor Osibanjo can emulate from Pence. Wow. You know, like I said, initially, all um, Good luck, Jonathan's message to Trump was that... Um, no no personal ambition is worth the blood of any citizen that explains his action when he picked up the phone and rang president Mohammed Buhari. wow he's he's been tagged a hero right now someone else is saying the president of the united states is inciting violence because he lost an election good luck jonathan is a hero please a lot of um, thumbs up for him accolades to him another one good luck jonathan is now schooling trump what a time to be alive another one nigeria can now boldly calm the custodian of democracy a system of government that didn't fit into its reality good luck jonathan gave nigeria that honor wow so a lot of um, comments have been trailing in regarding um what good luck jonathan did um, um during the 2015 general election so interesting that someone who was criticized at that time because of recent happening he's been given a new title and he's been crowned the hero of democracy guys let's hear your own take down below in the comment section thank you once again my beautiful people please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again bye for now and god bless